Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the U Camera Node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and we've got our little USD cube input into our uh, node tree here. We've got it going into a merge and we've got our merge going into our render node. So to be able to see anything correctly, um, by default, we can see what's going on in our render, but we can't control the view at all. To be able to do that, we need the U camera node or a camera in our scene. So let's go ahead and hit U camera and we're going to bring in a camera. We're going to input that into our merge. So right off the bat, you can see we've got a camera and we can go ahead and bring it back. And we'll bring it up. And if we go to our render view, you can uh, see our little cube and our camera there. In our inner camera transform, we can transform it more up or down. The X, the Y, and bring it back on the Z so we can see our whole cube. Additionally, on our transform for our camera, we can rotate on the X, the Y, and the Z. And we can change our pivot location on the X, the Y, and the Z. So jumping into our controls, we have two types of projection type, which is perspective and orthographic. And we're going to leave it on perspective since this is your typical 3D viewing mode. And under our projection type, we've got our clip. And what that is, is our near and far clip for our actual camera. So if we look at our camera, we can see way off in the distance, maybe. This little box, this is indicating our far clip. If I kind of skip ahead and go down to control visibility, we can view our near clip as well. So I can adjust these independently so I can bring our far clip back. And I can bring our near clip up if I want. So if you see right here is our near clip. And this is where the uh, camera will start rendering or not rendering. So if we look at our render view, and I bring our far clip back. Eventually, anything that is beyond our far clip is going to be clipped. Now, where this clip comes into play as well, it's going to be used for your depth calculations. So basically, the camera is going to calculate from the near clip to the far clip, your overall depth of your scene. So if you don't need everything in the back calculated, if you want to bring that up closer, you can. You're going to get a more uh, accurate calculation of your actual scene. Underneath, we have exposure. Now, exposure is kind of confusing. It has nothing really to do with how bright or dark your uh, scene is. It has more to do with your actual clipping. And even though we can't see if I increase it or decrease it, it's going to increase or decrease the actual clip and this will trump any settings you have in your clip. So if I change my exposure, now my exposure is going to be being used for our Z depth calculation. So we're going to go ahead and leave that on zero. Your focal length is exactly that. So your focal length of your camera, just like any lens. So if we had a 24 millimeter lens, I'm going to type in 24. And there's our 24 millimeter lens. And uh, we can probably bring our camera a little closer then. For your focal distance, this is the actual focal distance of the camera. So if we go to our merge, and we look at this little green box, that is our focal distance. So we can bring that in and out. In our f-stop, we uh, in the film world know what our f-stop is, and this is going to be used to calculate our depth of field. Under film back, this is where we can change the actual uh, size of our aperture or our sensor of our camera. It doesn't change the lens, it changes the sensor. So if I know I'm doing uh, footage with, say, my Ursa Mini, I could go in here and change the actual size of my aperture. So I know my mini is 25.34 millimeters by 
14.25 millimeters so i just effectively changed this aperture size to fit the aperture or sensor size of my ursa mini so if you look at our render view you can see it's matching up with the uh, little ursa mini or you can't see because we don't have the footage and under lens shift x and y we can just shift the lens to the left and right or up and down In the shutter close and open if you leave it on zero it's going to operate normally you can adjust your close and your open independently and this is going to affect your overall exposure and also it will affect your motion blur so you use these to kind of uh, dial in your look dev of what's going on in your scene so i'm going to zero those out and under your stereo roll, if we have multiple cameras, which camera is it? The left, the center, or the right? Under control visibility, this is where we can control what we can see on our little uh, camera here. So if I uncheck show controls, it hides all the controls. I can show or hide our frustrum, show or hide our view vector, show or hide our near clip, as well as change the subdivisions show or hide our far clip as well as change the subdivisions and change the subdivisions on our focal plane or hide it and a lot of times i leave this up because it tends to be easier to uh, dial in that focal distance when you uh, start seeing that affect your objects and under export this is just if we want to include it in a separate stage so that is the u camera node I will see you in the next no breakdown.